It was a very eventful weekend for TSM, as it looks like not only do we have a new mid laner, but the entire roster was leaked. So, with that, let's talk some TSM. Welcome back, everybody, and that is correct. The TSM roster uh, has potentially been leaked. Um, as always, you know, I, I tell uh, my writers, you know, when you get something, you have to make sure that you have multiple sources. Um, this is the work of uh, mostly uh, LCS Evie, um, also known as Sanderhove, and he... Um, you know, had been told multiple times about this being the roster, um, even from somebody inside TSM saying, yeah, this is who we're going with. So, um, you know, things can still change. It's pretty early in the offseason, uh, but it looks like TSM uh, have wrapped some things up. This comes after um, Alejandro Gomez uh, of Blix.gg uh, leaked that Ruby, Ruby from the LEC, uh, from Heretic specifically, would be the new mid laner for TSM. After that, we started doing some digging to figure out uh, were there any other moves that were happening. Uh, the only thing that we were being told uh, time and time again by people was that Hanser was for sure starting. Um, you know, with Solo leaving, that felt like a given. He had also said that they were generally keeping most of the roster together. So here's your five man roster. <clears throat> excuse me, along with new head coach Revan, um, we have Hanser, Boogie, Ruby, Wild Turtle, and Chime. Now, this does lead to us wondering what's going on with Chawi. I am going to do another episode um, about that probably later this week, but I really wanted to um, you know, take a deeper dive into these five uh, players real quickly because... Uh, and specifically Ruby, because it is interesting, at least to me, that, you know, that this is the roster that they're going with. Now, with Maple leaving, they had to just find somebody, um, and I'm sure that they felt as though Ruby uh, could be somebody who they, I don't know, who they could maybe, you know... Uh, play better with than than what he saw and what he was with heretics um and and then it feels like they just decided to keep the rest of the crew together these four players Hanser, boogie wild turtle and chime were uh on the team along with maple for the last game of uh the lcs um uh, spring split now I will be honest with you, I just don't really know. Uh, at first glimpse, this team definitely is worse than the last couple games of the split once Wild Turtle had come in. Um, I will be interested to see what Hanser does, considering he only came in for a couple games as well. Uh, how much different is he going to be than Solo? Is he going to be better than Solo? Is he going to be worse than Solo? That is a huge question mark. Is Boogie going to be worse without Maple? Right? Because uh, it felt like Maple was able to cover up a lot of Boogie's uh, major flaws. Like, is the team going to have to play around Boogie? Right? Um, I, I I really don't know. The only lane that I feel relatively confident in right now is Wild Turtle and Shine. Um, mostly just because they're going to have more time to work together. Um, it felt like Wild Turtle was not completely back to his old form, but... It felt like he was like he he was a, a true carry threat, and we all know that I, I I still think that Chime has some pretty high potential. I think right now he's still kind of a middle of the road uh, support in the LCS, but he could very easily work his way uh, towards the top as long as some other things go well. So um, you know I I don't uh, I'm not overly worried about bot lane, which is interesting to say, but um, the top half of the map I I have no idea what's going to happen, um, and you know. Uh, LS was uh, was telling everybody that you know this was how what was going on and you know he felt like you know TSM fans would be uh disappointed maybe even in the roster uh, my 
initial opinion before I dive a little bit more into Ruby specifically is that I think TSM went with what they felt like was best for now and that hopefully you know over the winter you know they will be I don't know a little bit more intentional with what they're trying to do because I think the signing of Revan as somebody who was uh, an up and coming head coach somebody who I think has a lot of potential to be a great coach uh, at the LCS level. Um, I believe that 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 he is a signif- is a, it signifies to me that he is somebody who um, could take us to that next level um, and uh, could be somebody who could be here for a while. Hopefully, that would be ideal. <laughs> um, again, that's if Chawi didn't leave and they just needed to fill the role with somebody. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so what I wanted to do is I, I went through here and I did this earlier and I just wanted to check, you know, basic stats, uh, from the LEC spring season. I'll start obviously with the winter. Sorry that those got moved around. Um, looking at the mid lane. Okay. And so, you know, even just KDA wise, you can see here, uh, Ruby was, was on the lower end for sure. Um, and I, I like to do KDA just very briefly because I think that it's it's a good indicator of just kind of where they are. Ruby finished tied for fourth in terms of kills, was first in deaths, but was also first in assists. Uh, his kill participation was 72%, which is the third uh, in his lane. The biggest problem was his gold difference was second to last. Um, and his CSing was pretty average at best. So, like, I think, you know... Ruby was somebody who it looks like to me and from what I can remember from this split specifically because this was the last like LEC split I didn't really watch super intensely in spring um, winter you know I think um, you know I got most of the games in and I remember him for heretics making some big plays like especially early on he had one of those um, oh he had like I, I don't know it was like a really high kill game i can't remember exactly what it was but he kind of surprised everybody They're like oh wait who's this guy he he started off really really hot and so i i wondered how you know how could he you know what what is the reason why they could be letting him go um or he's just leaving i guess i don't know but um it feels like you know counter pick rates going to be really important for him it's this death total that worries me. His kills were pretty, you know, above average. His assists were above average. He was involved in a lot of a lot of plays, right? Um, and it's interesting because it felt like Heretics, even though they didn't need to, were playing around him a lot. Um, and I wonder if TSM is going to continue that with, I guess, kind of a similar way to how they played around Maple. But overall, like, you go then and look at his spring split, Again, KDA wise, uh, he played one extra game than everybody else, but he still had you know 3.4 KDA. Again, his kills were actually top three in the league. Uh, his deaths were number one yet again, but he was also number one in assists. Right, his kill participation went down, but it seems like everybody's did. Right, so he's still in that top five, and his goal differential actually got better. Okay, uh, put him in the middle of the pack. His CSing was second worst um you know and that that does worry me i think um i i think you know he's he it seems to me and from the the bits of tape and stuff that i saw that he's willing to sacrifice his lane a bit to go out around the map and make plays now i think on this team he's not going to want to do that as much i think he's going to want to be focused on the mid lane i think you know we are going to want to be doing that as well because i think wild turtle and shine will be able to handle things on their own but you know, when looking at his champion pool, right, he's got a lot of games played on Azir, Victor, Rise. Like, he's your typical Syndra. He's your typical mid lane mage player. Um, he is somebody who is, I think, um, you know, a pretty, a pretty solid player, honestly. Um, you know, he's not somebody who is going to come out and blow you away. But I, I don't think that he is... I don't think he's bad. Like, I, I don't think he's an upgrade to Maple. I definitely think he's a downgrade to Maple. But I would, wouldn't would say that it's a major downgrade. Um, and that's where I kind of worry a little bit about the team as a whole. 
is Hauntzer at best, I think is, is kind of like right there in the middle, uh, is a similar player to solo, um, at best. I think Boogie is probably going to be worse without Maple because I think Maple was a much more vocal leader. He had a lot more experience, obviously, than Ruby does um, internationally and just in regular season as Ruby has been, you know, uh, let's pull up his wiki page. I can't remember exactly how many teams he's played on. Yeah, I mean, he is he is generally he, – he was trained with a, a Freak of Freaks, um, but has generally not been on very good teams um, his whole career. Uh, it's kind of like another, honestly, it's kind of like another boogie, except I think Ruby's, uh, a little bit better and more consistent than boogie is. Um, but you know, then you're depending on wild turtle to do a lot (laughs) to do, do a lot for this team to be really good. Now, here's what I will say. I think, you know, with what I'm hearing about evil geniuses with the team that they've dropped, Um, I think even teams like, um, you know, Dignitas uh, and Immortals, like, we're still kind of going to be in about the same spot from what I can tell. Um, And I believe that, you know, TSM, I mean, I I think we'll sneak into that 18 playoff. Um, You know, I think, you know, we'll probably lower expectations. I think, you know, six wins will kind of be the goal this year and maybe Revan and maybe Chawi staying and, and helping Revan, like maybe those two will be able to conjure up some craziness, uh, help us get a couple wins early while, you know, uh, everybody else is kind of figuring their themselves out as well. And, you know, we can, we can solidify ourselves as a playoff team, but I, I don't really know. I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting and, and we'll have to see if this, you know, all comes to light, by the way, like if this ends up being the roster, um, cause like I said, I mean, this is what we were leaked. We were told it by multiple people, um, uh, including some pretty, you know, I don't know, high profile people that I, that I would trust. Um, but things do change, right? There's still a month to go before the season starts. Um, and you know, uh, there have been moves that have been leaked in the past and GMs, you know, hear the fans, I don't know, uh, disgruntled voices and stuff like that. And they decide that they, they don't want to make the move anymore. So they change it. Like things happen all the time. Um, but I'm feeling pretty confident that this was the roster. I think this was going to be it regardless. Um, you know, I think the only change they could have potentially made was in the jungle. Um, but it just doesn't sound like TSM is willing to pay buyouts, uh, for younger players from other teams to grab them. I think they may wait until, um, you know, till they're free agents, uh, until they're available for somebody else, you know, for anybody to grab. So we'll have to see if that changes things. Um, I am intrigued. I think Ruby can be better than what he showed in the LEC. Um, I think, you know, if uh, he can uh, be a little bit less death intense, um, you know, he was still t- near the top five and kills and and always near the top and assists like he is involved he is helping out his team his team fighting seems to be pretty strong um and so i believe that that's the kind of stuff it's going to take for us to be good is we're going to need a player who can do that so um if he can if he could die a little bit less just a little bit less you know like maybe six times less um in his uh in his lcs uh first split um that could be enough like genuinely for him to uh, actually, you know, have a pretty nice impact in what is a relatively weak lane um, for the LCS. So, uh, and maybe just even the stress of it being 18 games um, or in the less stress of it being 18 games instead of nine uh, and making it into playoffs will be helpful to him as well. So uh, we'll have to see, but uh, let me know in the comment section below what you guys are thinking uh, and uh, be prepared. You know, I'll have some other videos coming out obviously this week, to talk a little bit more in depth about this team and and kind of where I see them, um, you know, panning out and everything. And, um, you know, we'll take a look at it before all the teams have done all their, uh, you know, additions and subtractions. And then we'll do it after once everything else is kind of confirmed. So, um, yeah, with that, I'll catch you guys on the next one.